Massage cupping first gained big attention with Michael Phelps at the 2016 Olympics when the championship swimmer sported those telltale circles on his back. Since then, cupping has become a bit of a celebrity hallmark. But East West College campus president Russ Badiata and MSOM program chair Brandon Fuller are here to tell us that massage cupping has a deep and international history and it's being done right here on the Sun Coast. Welcome back to both of you. Thank you. Brandon, Help us understand the concept of cupping. What exactly is it? So cupping is the use of small jars, as you see on the table here. We have glass, but we also have plastic. Uh, and there's a, a suction or a vacuum that's created, and we place it over an area of discomfort on the skin. And that, that suction and vacuum creates a, a blood flow into that area. So it's breaking up any stagnant blood that might be stuck in a muscle and helping bring in fresh blood to heal an injured area. It's kind of the opposite of maybe traditional massage where you're pushing an mm -hmm. area to move the blood. Right. So how does this kind of inversely do the same thing? This part's kind of cool. The, the latest research actually shows that when, when we place the cup on and we create that, that vacuum over the skin, we're creating almost like this little micro trauma in the area and it's it's encouraging the body to create new blood vessels so a micro vascularization happens and that vascularization increases the blood flow to the area okay. so you have a better healing experience now russ this may <laughs> be new to us in the past few years but the concept actually dates back a really long time yeah. tell us a little bit about the history and how that actually ties into everything at east west college well, you know, this is a practice that dates back to the 1500s. And they used to use hollowed out animal horns and oh. it, their suction oh, wow. properties over infected tissues to remove uh, the tissue. And so then they progressed to using bamboo shoots to certain areas of the body and they found a therapeutic and healing element to it. And that evolved to what we see today. We've been doing it at East West for over 20 years. Uh, it was pop made popular in 2016 with the Olympics. Right. And uh, he spoke about the microvascularizations and all of those s bruises or spots that you see on people's backs and kind of find it cool uh, <laughs> when, you, when you go to the beach. Uh, but there are natural healing properties associated with it. And when you uh, combine it with an acupuncture treatment, you get even more uh, healing out of it. So, okay, now with yeah. with the mm -hmm. marks that it does leave, obviously because of the suction, I'm not going to lie, it looks like it hurts. So <laughs> Joey has volunteered to find out if it really does. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> Maybe I volunteered him, I don't know. So we're just going to do it on your arm. Yeah. But I, I'm very curious as to how the procedure works. So it's it's very non-eventful. We we <laughs> like we like the non-eventful like terms, yeah. right? Um, so all we do, I I brought a, a pumped suction cup. We just place it over an area, okay. and then and we give it a couple of pumps. Oh, your skin and, is bubbling and right it, look And at it that. creates that vacuum, right? All right. How's that feel? Well, for I was gonna you? say, what do you hurt. feel? It, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. hurt. No. Right, and so what we can do is we can remove this and it stays on there, wow. it won't move. Oh wow, now how long for treatment purposes do you leave a cup in place? Between five and 10 minutes. Okay, so if I were say working on my upper back or my back on my right. shoulders, I would lay down mm -hmm. and then you would place how many cups on typically? Um, generally we take a look, we see what, what area needs to be worked on. It may be between three to six cups, it okay. might be a couple more. It really depends on what's going on, but then it's left for about five to ten minutes. And do I get a rub down once it is over <laughs> or does the trauma need to stay isolated in that spot? Uh, in general at the college we, we always tend to end it off with a nice little massage and we okay. put a nice little healing liniment on there. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that, is that part of today? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can see that it's, you know, it, you can see the skin goes up. I know it does look like it hurts, but it really doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. hurt. It no. doesn't. And then no. am I seeing, I see it, you know, a little discoloration yeah, beginning. Yeah. We're actually secretly yeah. hoping he it's, gets it's a really big I, will, I can <laughs> tell you that I know. Is yeah. that, is that <laughs> simply the blood flow that is causing that? that that's, it's, it's like, uh, like when you call, uh, create that uh, suction effect, it, it has that, uh, that kind of micro trauma effect right. creating a bruise. So it's yeah. like, uh, it's almost like if you, bumped your arm and you go, oh, it's no big deal, and you get a tiny little bruise, there's a little bit of a micro trauma That's in there. That's very that interesting how quickly it happens. Yeah. I mean, that was only yeah. probably about a minute and a half, and we were already seeing that. Yeah. So, Brandon, tell us, at 
East West, you are not only um, performing this so that people can come and get the treatment, but you're also training teachers and Russ, is that correct? Yeah, we're, we're training students to learn uh, the, this practice along with many other methodologies uh, to become acupuncture physicians and to where they can actually do cupping on their patients. And it's very easy to enroll. Uh, all you have to do is contact us, go on our website, we'll go bring you in, take you for a tour, you'll see our student clinic, our herbal pharmacy, and you'll be able to actually be cupped. All right, and that sounds great. So this is Eastern Medicine coming to us here on the Sun Coast. And for more information about these treatments in the natural medicine fields, you can go to East West College's website. That is ewcollege.edu. All right, Joey, we're yes. gonna keep an eye on that. Yeah, yeah.